I uploaded 700 designs to TeePublic and today I'm going to share with you my store and the profit I made as a beginner in one year. I will also answer the question, is it worth it to sell on TeePublic? So let's get started. You can upload your designs to TeePublic, but they will not be shown to customers. To be able to sell, you need to get accepted by TeePublic first. When you upload your designs, TeePublic will check them and if the quality is good enough, then you will get accepted. My advice to get accepted is to create a lot of designs before opening your shop and upload 10 to 20 of your best designs. Don't just upload random designs. Upload your best creations to increase your chances of getting accepted. If you get accepted, then you can upload all of your designs, even if they are not as good as your best designs. Now that we know what TeePublic is and how to start selling, it's time to share my shop. If you didn't notice, I'm Greek and I wanted to create a shop with designs related to Greece. People love Greece, so I decided to take advantage of my ethnicity and sell to people who've been to Greece or just love Greek culture. TeePublic wasn't actually my first print-on-demand marketplace for the shop. If you don't know, I have a shop on Redbubble. You can watch my first year results in this video. And I opened the second Redbubble shop and uploaded my designs about Greece. My shop started really well, even better than my current shop. But for some reason, Redbubble banned my shop. I didn't violate any policy, but I think they only reason might be that I had multiple accounts on Redbubble at the time. But the good thing is that Redbubble didn't ban my good shop. Anyway, I didn't want my designs to be wasted like that. I did have 100 designs ready and I decided to take my designs to another print-on-demand marketplace. Now if you don't know, TeePublic is actually owned by Redbubble. Redbubble has 4 times more traffic, but TeePublic has less competition because they don't accept everyone. Learning that, I created my shop on November 16th of 2022 and I uploaded 10 or 15 of my best designs and patiently waited to get accepted. I didn't upload any any other designs until I got accepted. I also tried to get accepted by merch by Amazon, but they rejected me. But then, 5 days later, I got accepted by TeePublic and my designs were available to customers. But I have to tell you something before I move on. I actually worked for 2 weeks on TeePublic and I let it run for 1 year without touching it. It was the period when I discovered that Tetsi works better for me and I completely abandoned TeePublic for 1 year. Back to the 21st of November 2022. This was the time when I started the grind. TeePublic allows us to upload up to 50 designs a day. And I did that for 2 weeks. I uploaded 50 designs every day and I managed to upload 700 designs to my shop. As you can see my designs aren't anything special. I focused on making designs about Greek mythology, Greek islands and Greek food. Now that I'm looking at them again, most of them suck. Most of them are just text or free stock photos with text. They are so simple which makes them so easy to create many of them. And in these types of print on demand marketplaces, you need a lot of designs to make some money. Unless your designs are incredible and your SEO is very good, then you need to put quality over quantity. But 99% of the time you need to make as many designs as you possibly can. When you upload the design, make sure it's big enough to be printed on all the products. Also you need to make sure that your SEO is good. Just set the title to something searchable. Imagine what would you type to find this product. In this case, it's a night chess piece. Use tags that are searchable and use all the tags that the public allows you to use. And write a very short description. You have to enable every single product and take the time to fit the design nicely into the product. You will lose a lot of potential sales if you don't do this. Now, the public doesn't have analytics, but I will use the emails I received to show you some proof. But first, let's see how much we get paid when we get a sale. There are standard margins for each product and you cannot change them like on Redbubble. The bad thing is that your account will get categorized, which affects the profit you will get for each sale. There are two categories. We have artisan and we have apprentice accounts. In the artisan category are shops with good and unique designs and in the apprentice category are shops with spammy and bad quality designs. You need to be in the artisan category because the public will pay you more. The difference is big. My account belongs to the artisan category so if I can do it with these designs then you can too. Now finally it's time for the results. I got my first sale on the 5th day of December which is solid because it took me only 2 weeks and I did get a second sale in December. In December I made $4.50. Probably that's why I stopped uploading designs. Also PayPal sent me the emails in Greek but it's okay, you can see clearly the amount I got paid. But let's see how much I made in each month. In January I made $11. 
I mean, it's better than last month. In February, probably I didn't get any sales because I didn't get paid. In March, I got $9.25. In April, I got $11. In May, $10. June was my best month so far. I got $27.50. And I thought, finally, my two weeks of work are going to pay off soon. But in July, the sales dropped. And I got $17. August was my second best month and I made $23.25. In September, I got $15. In October, the profit dropped and I got $8.75. I didn't get paid yet for November because I'm filming this on the 25th, but it's my best month so far with $29.75. Overall, in one year of selling on Team Public, I made a whopping $181.50. This is my worst income stream, but I guess it's okay for two weeks of work. My designs will remain on Team Public forever, and I will continue to earn some extra bucks every month to buy some gyro. I'm kidding, it's gyros. Is it worth it to sell on Team Public? If you are a beginner in the make money online space, then yeah, I think Team Public is a good start for your journey, especially if you can create better designs than I did. But if you are a bit more experienced, I would suggest switching to Etsy for print on demand or making your own website. The choice is yours. Do you like these kinds of videos? Or should I just do Etsy? Let me know in the comments.